Hello and welcome to No Man's Sky, everybody. This is Alan Paul, and uh, got some interesting news. Uh, as you all know, Echoes is the next update that's coming out, and there's some very interesting things going on. We know that an expedition is coming probably in the next uh, few days, possibly next week, um, being that this is Thursday, the 24th of August. But I decided to just jump on after I, uh, my game updated just to check things out, and I went straight to the anomaly to take a peek around it. I noticed something a little different up here. That you all might want to see. You'll see where I'm at in regards to the nexus down there and where the landing pads are and stuff. Uh, and here's what I noticed. So you go in here, you have Tethys, you have this guy here, but you have a new device. It's a multi-tool decommissioning unit. You can now decommission multi-tools in your inventory. Now this multi-tool doesn't have anything on it. I want to go ahead and show you it real quick. As you can see, it's just a standard multi-tool, nothing special. The upgrades on it really didn't get me much. And yeah, it's got you know, a scatter blaster, bolt caster, and other things on here. Not really concerned about that because I've obviously got better tools. But you can now decommission it, and you can claim the scrap for it. And it's going to make sure about it. Just sounds familiar, right? Just like decommissioning your ship. And you get items at it just like anything else. So now in my inventory, I now have upgrades like mining beam and scanner modules. You get a multi-tool expansion slot, just like you would by decommissioning a ship. So the cool item that we're discovering here, this is really, really neat. And it gave me a sentinel weapon shard because it was a sentinel weapon as well. Um, I'm going to take a quick peek around here and just see what else might be different inside the anomaly. Um, very, very interesting news that... Uh, looks like everything looks the same in here. I, you know what? Let's talk to Polo and Nada and just see if they have anything going on. Nope, nothing special there, so I'm assuming that nothing's happening over here. Nope, and he won't accept it, of course, yes. Yeah, never mind, because I've already completed that. Let's check out this area over here, but that multi-tool decommissioning unit is very interesting. Uh, looks like everything's pretty much the same over here. I don't see anything different. Um, doesn't look like these units are active still. No, they are not. Okay, so everything's good there. Go into the main area over here just to make sure there's nothing special. Doesn't look like it. You got your egg, egg unit over there. Uh, looks like everybody is in place where they should be. So yeah, that seems to be the one big change we have in the anomaly. So very, very interesting. And just to give a quick rundown, being that it is Thursday, exotic items, uh, where are we here? It looks like the multi-tool one is now available. And you notice tier 5 is, we were barely at tier 4. Last I checked, uh, getting the tier 3 one, we were just barely into tier 4. Acquiring, we're already into tier 5. So we know that things are progressing fast. And in order to get these, these two will come real quick right now. So let's go ahead and get that. And we'll see how fast this one comes into play. Okay, so that mean, that we definitely know means that something's coming. Something's coming. Real soon. So there we are, folks. All right. So that seems to be the only thing I've found thus far in No Man's Sky that has changed. So that is a really cool item to have to be able to get rid of all those old multi-tools and rather than having to hang on to them and trade them in for something else as you filled up your uh, inventory. But since we're also here, I probably could have just taken the portal. I don't know why I didn't. But since we're also here, let's check out the space stations real fast. be there in just about 20 seconds. This will be a short video that I'm going to go ahead and post. I'm doing this actually during... I happen to be working from home today and I decided to do this during my lunch. So... Let's check to see if the space stations are anything different. And we'll go ahead and go through the galaxy as well just to play it safe. We'll check out a couple pirate systems or something like that. See if anything's different there. I got my freighter in the system so if I need to pull anything from inventory if we discover anything here. Ah, yes. 
the very long entrance to the space station. I believe I am in the... I'm pretty sure I'm not in Eisentum. I think I'm in the starter galaxy. Let's just check over here real quick. Okay, nothing special here. Everything's the same over here. Let's check the back room since we're on this side anyway, but I don't think there'll be anything different back in here. This looks the same as it usually is. That goes back to the Atlas Pass areas. Ship coming in for a landing. Anything going on over here? Looks like everything is pretty much the same over here. Nothing special. One more back room to check. No, nope, nothing special. Same kind of usual stuff that you find back in here. So it looks like the space stations themselves have not changed. You know I was going to check over here, didn't you? Life support system, 84% functional. We can do a station override and a forged passport. Okay, so we still have the same choices on that menu. Nothing special there. Okay, everything seems to be the same here in the space stations. So that's nothing special to worry about. One last check. And I may or may not... Um, change the video any. I will probably just drop the video as you currently see it. Oh, there is a pirate system right over there. Alright, let's check out the pirate system and see if there's anything different there. Very interesting stuff. This is going to be a big update. Of course, we have a space battle, of course. Now, the space battle is supposed to get more ferocious. Pirate capital ship detected. Oh, baby. I think we are in a good spot here, folks. Holy mackerel. Yeah, I think I want you guys. No, you know what? Ten seconds to launch. Oh, we gotta get inside the shields. Can we go inside? Yes, we can. Interesting. They got shields on the outside. I don't even know what I'm shooting at. I got things shooting at me. Oh, careful. Laying in things. This is too cool. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh man, there's so much to destroy on this ship. Come on, baby. There we go. I'm glad I'm in this ship and not one of my others. Okay, on my own ship. Alright, we gotta go down these trenches here. Take these things out. Okay, go through. Pretty sure that's what we gotta do. Okay, now we can take out the Dreadnought. So those are the shield generators. Now you know how to get rid of those. Alright, let's 
Get out of here. That was freaking awesome. <laughs> nice, and you get rewarded right up front. That is the neatest thing. Let's get a backup view of this real quick. Oh, dude, that is just too cool. <laughs> Approach pirate frigates to rescue survivors. Civilian fleet save. So go to the pirate frigates. I guess that's these guys down here. This is incredible. I don't know. What do we do? Do we go to that and check it out? maybe no well I don't know what pirate fleet we're talking about because that is the civilian fleet from what I understand and I'm assuming the pirate fleet should be over here someplace but I don't see any other pirate fleet wow that is just that's really cool that was really, really cool. Really neat. All right, guys. Very much unexpected. Got recruitable frigates over there. That might be what we're talking about. Is you can recruit these frigates into your own. Let's check it out. Yeah, yeah, these are the pirate things. Yes. And then you can hire the frigates. Oh, that's neat. And they're mostly combat frigates. Nice. Check it out. That's pretty cool. So there you go. You can actually acquire these into your fleet. Ah, I may have to go through my fleet and uh, check out, see what kind of ones I want to get rid of. That is really, really cool. And you no longer have to land in the civilian one anymore, so that's pretty cool. Alright. Well, we just dis discovered something new. That is pretty cool. Let's go ahead and head for the pirate space station now. Man, I can't wait to get this video uploaded. You guys are going to be shocked. Holy mackerel. I didn't expect the update to come out today. I really thought we had another week, so this is really kind of new to me. Let's check out the Spirit Space Station and see what we got here. Wow, this is really, really neat. I'm very excited about this. Very, very excited. This is just opening up a whole new realm of trouble. Can you imagine doing that on permadeath mode? That ain't happening. Not unless you can really get your ship up to snuff. Sorry, Beeble Bum. I think you're going to have a little trouble with that one. Uh, let's see. What in the world? Okay. Nothing special over here. We got the same old stuff. Okay. That's probably just going to say the glass, glass, glass as usual. Freedom? Yeah, voice of freedom. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and leave that. It's just going to give us the same stuff. Okay. Nothing special here. At least it doesn't look that way. You have any weird missions? Nothing special. Looks like the same stuff there, too. Very, very nice. Okay. 
So nothing special here. So that is about the coolest thing. I don't think the abandoned system is going to have anything new, but definitely those battles are going to be freaking awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and dispense this video at this point. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. It is just a bonus video right out of the blue. Um, take care, everybody. If you Please hit that like and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Uh, really appreciate everybody who's followed me over the uh, past year or so. Really, really looking forward to doing more videos with everybody, uh, even amongst all the personal things that have gone on lately. I look forward to talking to you all maybe over the weekend. Take care, everybody, and we'll, we'll see you, as I always say, in the next episode. Take care.